Banbury in Oxfordshire. Hit no disc. Three times UK Championship Grand Finalists. Right, Pops. What's the battle plan? Well, the battle plan has started. An hour ago, we've been watching our opponents laying on armour <laughs> for the last two hours. But our plan is to win. Yes. A massively destructive weapon, once the most feared in the war zone, backed up by a 10mm aluminium checker plate chassis, aluminium rear armour and a hardened 6mm aluminium disc cover. From Maine, Roboteers, stand by. Let's see the two teams, Dan Tom Kier, basically the Lambert family on the left and the Rose family, the Hitler's team on the right. There's the Sacromal up boys, Steve Merrill and Ray Tate on the left and Smitty, Captain by Mick Reed on the right. In the arena for the house robots, Matilda with the lifting tusks. And there's Mr Psycho with the claw, the hammer and the very bad attitude and the breath. Three, two, one, two, Watch for Dan Ton Kier with the first assault there on Smitty. Smitty, low centre of gravity, but a one and a half centimetre ground clearance. Could prove vulnerable. Look at him, look at this. Under pressure from Dan Ton Kier immediately. And him is slammed into the CBZ. Three times UK Championship Grand Final. has been in all sorts of trouble. Gone. Out. In the CBZ. Under pressure from Dan Ton Kier. Mr. Psycho came in, had a look. Dan Ton Kier flew in for a second attack. And out they went out of the arena. Hitler is gone. Their chance of fighting for the challenge belt is over. Two machines survive this opening melee. Down goes the pit of oblivion. Dan Tonkin needs to get away from Mr. Psycho. Could literally crush it in that CPZ. What can we see if Sir Cromwell and Smitty? Nothing much, because Dan Tonkin is having all the trouble from Mr. Psycho. Get out of there. Don't try and take on Mr. Psycho. He has a long reach and an even longer memory. Smitty's, oh, for a minute, right underneath that hammer, I thought. Sir Cromelot, very good steering here by Steve Merrill and Ray Tate. Basically, what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is running away. They're just running away from trouble, trying to keep out of trouble. It may well serve them well in the future. Smitty's under pressure and flipped by Dan Tonk here with a full bottle pressure flipper. Can act as a powerful spinner as well, Smitty. Well, meeting a sandwich there from Dan Tomkin, Sir Cromelot. Some nifty work by Sir Cromelot until Dan Tomkin flicks it over. Self-righted, though. That's basically an American truck wheel hub you're seeing there. 25 millimeter thick alloy shell on Sir Cromelot. They are a stylish and fun team. Great competitors as well, Steve Merrill and Ray Tate. We love them, really. Ha! Why, heck. Now, his machine is out there, Sir Cromelot. Dan Tonkia is pushing it away across the arena floor. Smitty living dangerously, flirting with the floor flipper, which is easy to say unless you've been out for a night on the tiles with Steve Merrill and Ray Tate. Well, nothing's easy to say. Smitty in the CPZ is overturned. Mr. Psycho looks on. What is that flailing chain on Sir Cromelot? <laughs> what is that all about? Is that a weapon? Is that something that they wear down the nightclubs of South Ockenden in Essex? I'm not too sure. They've been overturned in the corner. Smitsy's flung up in the air. Where, oh, there goes Matilda on those bling bling boys from Essex. The Sir Cromelot. Steel boys. Oh, they're out! Matilda caught them with a flywheel bottom, which is rather a grisly thought for anyone. In they go, and Sir Cromelot tossed away like some loose leaf in the autumn fall, and they've gone. So we're left with two machines to fight on. Smitty and Dan Tomkier, there's the fallen knight of the realm, Sir Cromelot. They've arrived in the war zone by helicopter and plane in the past, and Limousine, Sir Cromelot, and they'll leave, uh, well, in a trash can, really. Cease. Dan Tomkey and Smidzi as Cease is called Fight On. The Rose Boys go. And also the Sir Cromelot team there on the right. Did you like that foul? Dan Tomkey on awesome form. Only two robots remain in the arena. They go through. Smidzi and Dan Tomkey! So, you, oh, what often happens in this 
business, this world of show business that we live in, is that people have a meteoric rise to fame. And then they think that's it, they don't need to do any more work. I'm afraid complacency is set in. No complacency at all, eh? Come on, what happened then? then? We used to have amazing well, fights from you. The arena wall is not taller, is it? We need the tall arena wall and we'd be all right. <laughs>